What's up guys, my name's Alex and welcome to another Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. Let's get into this. Now I do have to apologize, I haven't done a Let's Talk in a couple weeks, I don't think. I <sighs> have no excuse. I've just been busy. I've just been working. <laughs> So I honestly am not up to date with all the other shows outside of like the, the weekly reviews that I do. So that's Legacies and Neighbours and I'm actually not up to date with Supergirl still. Um, but yeah, so I just have not known what to talk about. So I'm going to just go through what's on my mind right now. So the first couple of things that I need to talk about that I have been wanting to talk about, but I just didn't know what else to talk about it with them, but uh, is in regards to One Day at a Time and Winona Earp. So we're getting to One Day at a Time first. So it was sort of like the creator, I believe it is, uh, tweeted that she had an interview with Netflix uh, not long after the release of season three of One Day at a Time. And Netflix essentially told her that um, they love One Day at a Time, but uh, they need more viewers, essentially. So, um... Of course, the uh, Renew One Day at a Time campaign started, and if you guys wanted to help out, obviously you can still do that by watching the show on Netflix. I believe Netflix um, what uh, takes notice of the first four episodes that are watched, and I believe they, if they're binged, I think it's it's a, a good indicator for Netflix. But yeah, I believe they take notice of the first four episodes, the viewership of the first four episodes. Um, so yeah. If you guys are loving One Day at a Time, make sure you you watch the first four episodes at the very least. I mean, obviously watch the whole season if you haven't yet because it's an amazing show um, and we need more of it, of course. But yeah, definitely do go check out One Day at a Time. If you haven't yet, if you have and you want to see more of One Day at a Time, um, go back, rewatch the episodes. I mean, you could just like put it on in the background. You don't even have to like watch it. It's not like Netflix is spying on you to make sure that you're actually looking at the screen when the show's on. Maybe they are, I don't know. Um, but yeah, go watch it again and, and support the show. But that moves us on to another potential cancellation news. Um, and that is Winona Up. So, um, I think this is a bit of a shock to a lot of people. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it because, so here's the story. One day, and uh, sorry, we're talking about Winona Up right now. Winona Up, um, was renewed for season four, I think like one episode into season three, wasn't it? It was like really, really soon after it premiered, it got renewed for a season four, which was awesome because I think we we're all ready to, to fight for Winona Up during season three, boost their numbers, make sure they get renewed for season four. And then early on in the season, it just got renewed and we're like, oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. So I think we were all feeling pretty great about When on Up. It got renewed really, really early. We felt confident that it was it was fine, you know? And then not long after the whole Renew when One Day at a Time campaign started, Emily, um, who was the showrunner for One Day at a Time, uh, <laughs> Winona Earp, um, also tweeted, I believe it was something along the lines of um, it's time to fight for our show or something like that. I think she's deleted the tweet since then. But that sort of set off <laughs> everything. <laughs> so the whole fandom sort of went into meltdown. I uh, believe, like, obviously, like I said, Emily tweeted some stuff and then she deleted some stuff. Um, I think she's <laughs> she got told off a little bit by the people behind the scenes. Um, but essentially, we found out that Winona Earp season four isn't as uh, secure as we thought it was. So here's the story. Here's a really brief story. Like, I'm not going to go into full detail about everything that's happened, everything, um, you know, that all the details of why and how it's happening. I will have a link in the description to a, a website, a blog, I think. Um, what is it? it? It was, it's like Winona Earp fans, but it's like also fightforwinonaerp.com, I think. Anyway, I'll have it linked in the description and it, they have like daily updates, I think, um, of what's going on with the campaign, what's going on with the show. But as a brief overview, Sci-Fi renewed season four of Winona Earp, right? But Sci-Fi isn't in charge of actually creating the show. That is in, that is, falls in the hands of IDW. The issue that's coming up is apparently IDW is out of money. Um, and so they don't have the finance finances to actually create season four, even though sci-fi has ordered a season four, 
it's just not being made by IDW. So right now it's kind of up in the air of uh, what's happening with IDW and what that will mean for Winona Earp. Um, if that, uh, yeah, we don't know. I, I don't think like, you know, obviously it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. There's a lot of business stuff going on, um, which is kind of like out of, the, you know, fandom's control, right? But that hasn't stopped the Winona Earp fandom. <laughs> if you guys check out that website that I linked in the description, like, it's insane what the Earpers have done. Like, they've, they have bought, like, like, billboards in Times Square. Like, what? What? <laughs> it's insane the kind of stuff that's happening. Yeah, so, like I said, there's a whole bunch of, like, like in-depth stuff in this website that you guys can get full picture of, check out all the stuff that the Earpers have been doing. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on and, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even, I, I, I don't even know what to expect from this news, to be honest. Cause it's like, it, it seems very clear that sci-fi wants to pick up Winona Earp, but like, where's the money going to come from to create the show is the question at the moment. But moving on from that, uh, like I said, I have not been up to date with a lot of things, so I didn't really know what else to talk about, but I just wanted to give you guys uh, a heads up on what I'm gonna be catching up on, because I've got like a week off work right now, so <laughs> I can catch up on some stuff. So I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on what I'm gonna be catching up on, so you guys can go check it out if you want, uh, catch up with me. <laughs> um, but some things that I'm catching up on, I need to catch up on uh, the Good Trouble. Uh, I've watched a few a few episodes at the start of that. It's good. I need to catch up on that. I also need to catch up on Siren. I think I'm a couple episodes behind. Really loving it. Though it's hard to talk about Siren because, like, the, the people behind it, like, block everything online. And I'm just like, that's frustrating. <laughs> also, I need to catch up on this seasons of Grownish. I think they're on to episode 10 of season two of Grownish. Um, it's an awkward name to say, uh, but I need to catch up because apparently is it Shane from the L word is on it and it's got a queer storyline going on. So I need to catch up for her. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be catching up on this weekend. It's a long weekend. So I'm going to be catching up on those things. Um, so yeah, they're just little heads up if you guys want to check them out for yourself as well. But that's just my like weird update Les Talk video. I just, it's, it's been a busy couple of weeks, man. Can you tell? Like, do I look exhausted to you? <laughs> I've got like, I legit went out and bought myself a packet of chocolates. It's one of those weeks. Gonna have a catch up weekend and just relax. <laughs> But I think that's about it from me today. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreon sponsors. We got Marissa Corey and Kathy. You guys are incredible and help me do what I do. Also, I will be getting my Supergirl video up on Patreon soon. If you guys are patrons and you're waiting for that, I, like I said, ha haven't even watched it yet, but I will be doing a reaction um, very, very soon, probably after I do this video and then pop it, pop it up. But if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. <laughs>